The active approach really, it's designed to get the students moving beyond the acquisition and retention of information and move more towards higher order thinking so that they're constructing knowledge together, they're asking questions together, they're answering those questions together and they're designing projects together, for example. You need to have the spaces that are optimized for that kind of learning to take place. Very simple things like chairs on wheels. So being able to move around the room, the tables are on wheels, simply flip up the the tabletops and roll them out of the way. If they've got their laptops, uh, they can throw their work directly onto the screen and they're not sort of stuck all around one, one laptop or one device. It's all wireless, no need for students to have sort of, you know, Ethernet cables plugged in or anything like that. We have whiteboards in the back um, that are mobile whiteboards. There's whiteboard at the front. Um, the glass is writable. The doors are all, these are all writable surfaces here. These sections come out and they roll along the top there. And they roll here, they turn the corner and they can be locked into place to divide the room in two. So now you've got two classrooms. faculty are coming in here, they're trying it out, they're trying different things, they're uh, from a, a range of different disciplines and we're learning a lot from them and from the students about what they like and what works. They like the openness of the space, it's very airy, it's very open. The students can get up and move around, faculty can move around easily. It's not, uh, there's not this sense that they're, that they're at the front and they're uh, transmitting information. Uh, they can uh, design projects and activities for students to work on together. This space accommodates 36 students, so it's slightly on the smaller side. So now the plans are underway to have larger spaces built that can accommodate 50 students, 60 students, 100 students. When you come out of the classroom, We've got these sort of breakout spaces for students to work together. So there's a social space here for students to work, or if we have workshops, we, uh, we also have uh, lunchtime uh, teaching exchanges for faculty to talk about teaching and learning, so this can happen here. It's a laboratory, it's, uh, it's a space for faculty to try things out. What's nice is that we can sit down with them beforehand or afterwards and, and have conversations about what they liked, what worked, and where they'd like to sort of perhaps change things. And we sit down with faculty and we'll talk about active learning techniques. What would you like to try? And we just sort of brainstorm together to try things out. So that's fun. It's exciting because there's all kinds of new ideas and um, new ways of thinking about their teaching that are emerging, which is great. Mm -hmm.